Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So these will be channeled messages. Uh, it could be for now, it could be past, it could be future. If it resonates for you, it resonates, okay? If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, more readings to come. So anyhow, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So, Aquarius, to start, we have the Judgment card, Whoa. the King of Swords, and the Five of Coins, or the Five of Pentacles. Let's close this window. So, Aquarius, um, it looks like the universe wants you to call judgment on this, this relationship. Some of you could have given another chance, another try to a marital partner or someone you were in a union with. Someone, you know, it was visible. The relationship was visible. So you could have given this person, this relationship, another chance, another try. With the king of, swords, king of swords showing up, wow, that is scary. Oh. <laughs> With the king of swords showing up, let's see if we can still get through this. I don't know if I should stop or not. You know, they say be still. Um, king of swords. With the king, I'm wondering if the king of swords is you or if it's your, your person. This could be a Capricorn. Okay, the King of Swords. Um, it also could be a Libra showing up here. Who is the King of Swords? Um, either way, the universe wants you to call judgment on this person. Uh, or they will, yeah, they want you to call judgment on this person. Are you guys staying together? Or are you not? Um, what are you doing in this connection? Because the universe really wants to, uh, yeah. In this relation, this flipped over in the deck, the four of wands. They want you to call a judgment on this relationship. Are you staying together? Are you getting back together? Is this going to be successful for you? Are you going to get what you want? Are you really going to have completion here? Um, or a, a solid relationship, solidarity? What are you going to have here? The universe wants you to call, you're going to make some, have to make some snap judgment because the universe is going to bless you with what you want for yourself, what you want in this connection. Also, if, if you don't want this person, if you're done with this person, then the universe is trying to bring you in a relationship that will be best suited for you, that will be a fit for you. With the uh, four of wands showing up. Then also, you read this as somebody wants a second chance, or you want a second chance, Aquarius, you want a second chance with someone. Um, maybe somebody is not granting, granting you that second chance, or um, you're just wondering, you're hoping, wishing, and praying for the second chance, or this opportunity. You want someone to be fast about what are they doing with you? What are we doing? You want them to make a, a quick judgment. Um, The Five of Coins or the Five of Pentacles here says that somebody is kind of locked out of the relationship here. Somebody's being ignored, neglected, um, just cast away. Somebody also feels like they were being used. But it says that people who are strong in their self-worth can never be used because you know what your worth is. So you know that something will always be required of you, especially if you are worthy. If your value is high, people will always ask of you, require of you. Too much is given, too much is required, something of that nature. So, so you should never be in a place of feeling used here. Um, 
somebody could be saying that they feel used or they feel like they didn't get they got the short end of the stick Aquarius they want you to make some snap judgment about this relationship or this person because um, the universe is trying to take you to this place it's funny how this is the 11 11 card 11 11 card and then you have Sutton Wells coming up which is an 11 card also which Aquarius rules the 11th house it's like the universe is trying to usher you into some portal some new way of existing some new relationship you get another 20 card so you got to make a decision about this relationship someone is expecting communication you Aquarius could be expecting this communication or the other person is you gotta make a decision about this home this family it's a head over heart decision it's a heart decision also because there, it could be a family dynamic involved here you know husband wife children um, or it's just more so um, yeah some of you it is family the universe is trying to put you in another place but they're not going to do anything if you don't want to go. That's the beauty of free will. We still exist here on this, in this plane, on the earth. We still make our own choices. All divinity is, is divine setting us up at certain times to experience whatever it is you're supposed to experience. What you do in that experience, in that event, is free will. If the divine orchestrates you to set you up so that you can win the lottery. I'm not saying that this is happening, but but you won't play the lottery. You don't play the lottery. They put you in a place to play the lottery. They got people in your ear, friends, family. You should play. Go ahead. It's only a dollar. It's only two dollars. Play the lottery. And you're just saying no, no, no. That's free will. You can still say no. You were put in the place to actually win the lottery, to be set up. There, there are people, places, things around you all speaking to the fact that you should play the lottery and you don't play the lottery, then okay, it is what it is. The divine divinity isn't mad. They aren't sad. They put you in a place of where you could have won the lottery. You chose not to play divine put you in a place of where you can have a, a destined relationship a real union and you decided to stay with such and such over here it's okay that's the beauty of free will in this earth and the fact that divinity will not interfere with your free will choices that's why you should always be praying meditating so that you're making the right choice so that you can hear from the divine so that you can hear the call when the call look when the trumpet is blown when you so it's like the divine trying to pull you in a place because you're in a place of expectancy and, and something will come into you um unexpected here it could be money it could be a person and or a message because that's what that card talks about um, some of you are deeply pessimistic about a specific person or just relationship altogether. But it says that, look, you're deeply pessimistic about a relationship, a specific person altogether. You can't see the forest for the trees. Some message comes into you. Um, some concerning message that causes a, a bit of upset and or change but look what it brings with it marriage and a gift or a gift of marriage it's like the divine divinity is trying to it's like the ball is in your court because you only have one major arcana and seeing all we're doing is showing up and asking you what are you going to do about this relationship or this person let us know so that we can help you help you. That's all divinity is. It's all um, spirituality is. It's about, you know, um, the things unseen, the, the, the workings behind the scenes, 
whatever you want to work for you. They will make it work for you, you know. Um, if they see fit, um, if they, you know, see that you're worthy, you know, whatever, they will help you out. Some of you haven't even come to a decision about what it is you want or who you want or what you're doing. Some of you can all of a, all of a sudden meet someone who is... Um, All of a sudden, meet somebody, it'll be a significant relationship, and you're going to really change. It's like you're going to pack up the house, the, the, the dog, the cat, the children, if there are any, and just make this change. There could be some change. Somebody, okay. You can move. You have moved away from someone. You're doing something solo. Somebody is in a place of bad health, okay? Because the relationship is over. Yeah. But they kept you as number two. They never put you as number one. And now they're in a place of, you know, in, they're impoverished in their mind, in their heart space. They just don't know how to get you back or if they'll ever have someone like you or they're missing the love, they're longing for you. You're, they're in deep thought about you. They may even be going to talk to an older woman, a mother figure about how they can start something new with you. Some of you, there's a baby coming. This. Some of you didn't know that you could get pregnant and you will get pregnant. Shit. Because you're older. You're, the people in your community are going to be very happy for you. They're going to hold this baby in high regard. They're just going to look at you as privileged. In your occupation, especially if you work for yourself, there's some great things coming for you, especially if you do spiritual work. Some new doors opening for you. Some false person wants you to hear them out because they're in deep despair. They stole your time. They took your energy, your love. They took it all for granted. And now you're on a different... You're just on a different wavelength. And you're going in a different path. And they just want to be a part of it. Some of you are going to be extremely wealthy. If you have a lot of masculine energy in your chart, then, and you're a woman, then you're going to be extremely wealthy. If you are a man, you're going to be extremely wealthy. Somebody's stuck in their thoughts over you. Some person who was committed to their work, their duty. Maybe they could be in the military. They were always, they were, or they were like really militarized. Is that a word? Or they were very militant about their schedule and what they have to do for themselves. They were, they never put you first or they never really tried to compromise. It was such hard work in dealing with this person. Now they want to come to you and give you some message. They're watching you. They're stalking you. They have suspicions that you have somebody else now. That you always had somebody else. That there was always somebody else on the outskirts. Or this is how you feel about someone else. You feel like there was always someone else. You feel like all of a sudden this person is... Um, all of a sudden you're, they're seeing the value in you or you're seeing the value in them. And somebody is infatuated, obsessed, wanting to have the relationship back. Coming from a place of ego. This could be a karmic connection... Where somebody just has to learn, there's a lot of doing, momentum, movement, activity, but not a lot of learning, and there, there were no, there's no slow 
pace to the relationship of okay well we're setting this milestone we're doing this and we're doing that it was just a whole bunch of movement to where somebody just didn't see where it was going it's almost like being on a roller coaster and you're so scared you close your eyes you don't know which way the roller coaster is going now and just hope that it's over This person can now be saying that they're in love with you. It could have been a twin flame, but somebody just didn't act right. They did not carry out the relationship correctly. Someone is now saying that their love is singular and it's for you. They're, they only have eyes for you. They're giving you a message of what they want to do, how they want to do it. Still no offer. I don't think you take it to this Aquarius. There's a breakdown in this relationship. It's a significant relationship in your life. And one that brought you a lot of love, a lot of sexual activity. Somebody who just wants to have sex with you. <laughs> wow. So what is extremely um, sexually attracted to you, addicted to you, addicted to your energy, your good nature. They haven't had it before. They're craving it. They're desiring it. Someone is infatuated with you, how you look, how you are, what you bring uh, to them, the attention that you bring to them. Um, you're in their heart's desire. Um, you feed their ego. Uh, the sex is good. There's good times, good fun, good food with you. They're, um, they feel like they're on a positive um, journey, direction with you, or they want to shift the energy, the relationship to a positive journey, but they're way too toxic, way too debased, way too drama filled, way too they're just they're just not a good person right now because they're low vibrational and they won't bring their vibration up. They don't want to, they don't look to. This could be someone again, something about night and nighttime. Let me see this. Hang on. Somebody who visits strips strip clubs or they have wayward sex, random sex. Somebody who gets a lot of attention because of their car uh, or the things that they have, material possessions. They could be the boss of a, a boss in a situation. They delegate to other people. Sometimes this person has to delegate, delegate from afar, even if they're not in the same building, same house as the people that they delegate to. I don't know where that's coming from. This person's fortune may be changing now. Yeah, it's on the decline while someone else's is on the incline here. Somebody is getting judgment for what they did or did not do to you or for you in a situation here. Someone is in low energy, toxicity, um, guilt, shame, remorse. They're waiting for someone to come and save them, rescue them from their own mental prison because they just didn't perform well on the stage of life in this relationship. They had something to learn, something to prove to the universe, to themselves, and they just did not show up. They showed up as their own toxic, drama-filled, uh, carnal, debased, materialistic, childish, gang-filled, third-party, loving, strip club going self. I don't know who the fuck this is. I'm out of here. I'm tired of reading this shit. Uh, Aquarius, uh, good luck. You got something good on the other side of making some decision about a particular relationship or a person. You got to make some snap judgment also. You got to be able to hear the call here to meditate, pray, um, so that you are close to spirit. Whatever you believe in. I don't know what you believe in. I don't know. I got to get out of here because this is driving me nuts. Bye Aquarius. All links are below if you need to get your own personal reading.